Sophomore. My name is Alicia Figueroa and I'm a junior. My name is Sienna Mathis and I'm a senior. My name is Griffin Presnell and I'm with the Fresh and Freshman. And we're from Lincoln Southeast High School. And the title of our piece is called At Risk for What? Last week a baby boomer told me anxiety wasn't a thing when he was young. When he was young, social constructs were more like social prisons, where the scent of plaster smiles was only covered up by the scent of his smoking addiction. When he was young, being different was much more than a sin. He asked me what it was like to be an at-risk youth. What's it like? It's like this. Imagine drowning with no water and the air at the top doesn't exist. At, at risk for what? Imagine having, having black walls closing in on you. With every breath you take and you are not able to look out and no one else is able to look in. At, at risk for what? Imagine hearing... Got it. Imagine not being able to tell people how you feel because the awkward stares that hit you like a blow to the head. At risk for what? Imagine hearing nothing but a screaming silence from the people around you because they don't know what it's like to feel nothing. What's it like? It's like flipping your pillow over before you go to sleep every night because it's soaked with the tears and fears of you not knowing what's going to happen next. It's like standing in a field of flowers but you're only able to see fire. We're, We're at, at risk. risk. Using a two-word term for a thousand-word explanation is too broad a label that's tossed around like a crumpled piece of paper in a wastebasket. Yet the only way to pick and scratch at that label is to do things that people like to call at risk. We're at risk for what? At risk for not keeping my emotions tied up in a little bow. At risk for lashing out on myself for something that I cannot control. What's at risk about doing things that are looked down upon in private because it's the only thing you have control of? What's at risk about being too scared to let out your feelings because of the reaction you get? Reaction of them backing out because they're too scared to face your problems with you head on. At risk for what? Just say it. At risk for using my skin as cell walls marking the days that go by. At risk for seeing my final reflection in a night. At risk of not fitting into your schema of millennials. Or at risk of becoming someone that no one wants to deal with. Why don't we switch roles? You can feel this pain that doesn't stop. And I can be the one that asks the questions that make me seem ignorant. You're not the one who cries himself to sleep most nights while their mom is one wall away watching Real Housewives. Any doctor can tell you that you're depressed, but it's only you that can diagnose yourself. Some pill with a long, confusing name won't do anything but hide your tears. You're the one that has to cure the sadness inside, so yes! 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 We are at risk, youth! But at risk for what? Woo!